Okay, this time then, actually, how to actually export your actual rendered image to Photoshop and then change the background. Okay, so let's see that, especially this one is useful when you do, uh, okay, so I'll go to 3D view one more time. Uh, as you see here, you already experienced it, that you need a background, especially uh, something like sky or let's say or some neighboring building behind actually your building mm -hmm. so let's say all the white area here in this rendering actually you have to fill that area with your aerial pictures or other street views you take or some satellite images whatever resources you got so let's say I will uh, render one more time so render so I'll just, okay uh, one more okay so I'll do that so just render it quickly this one is rendered vertically okay then actually actually okay so I will first of all I will save it to my project just in case so this one is exterior test 03 and after doing that do you see this export button now if you click it you will that you the there's a, a folder will be popped up asking you what is the name you want to so actually this one is say that exterior uh, rendering and then please select file type here I would just recommend to use tiff and then I save it can I save the folder? Okay, okay I'll just select another folder uh, desktop and then as a, as a save a tiff so it is saved uh, if you go to desktop TIFF file is actually, uh, it saves all the raw file. JPEG, okay, what happened to JPEG is, let's say that I have a, okay, my hair is all black, but you definitely see that something lighter, dark, lighter gray, dark gray. JPEG actually is try to reduce your file size. So actually, if there's a similar color that your eye cannot detect it, they use the same value to reduce the size. But TIFF actually will not do that. So it, typically JPEG file is a couple of megabytes, but TIFF is a couple of hundred, mega, hundred megabytes. But my recommendation, save as a TIFF in Revit, reduce the file size in Photoshop. Because Photoshop's algorithm to reduce the file size is the most advanced one. All other softwares a little bit lousily reduce, kind of, kind of, cr kind of crude way, loud, kind of decrease. Photoshop, in my experience, always best software to reduce file size or change your images. So. I'll, this here is rendering, uh, exterior rendering. Okay, so I've just explained about how to. Save it as a tip, right? Yes, export it to. Uh,